Hello and welcome. This is Game 4 presented by Dr. Skipper Turners and the Denver Stiffs. This is an exciting game. I'm very excited. The Denver Nuggets versus Minnesota Timberwolves on the second game of this long, long, long road trip. What should we expect in all this? Well, I was definitely expecting a Jokic versus Carl Anthony Towns matchup. Two formidable young front court players. But uh, it turned out to be a Carl Anthony Towns versus an everyone else kind of game. He was quite a savage. He had 32 points. He had 14 rebounds, two assists, two blocks, one steal. He was killing it on all ends. There wasn't really anyone that could stop him. As you can see here, completely... Um, well, he didn't destroy him, but... An interesting thing I saw was Nurkic and Dieng getting at each other quite a lot in the game. Um, it actually ended up in Dieng giving a flagrant foul to Nurkic. Boudier wide open top of the key for three, and Nurkic goes to the floor away from the ball. I'm not sure how Boudier much he got hurt. For a flagrant foul, I didn't quite see what. But, I mean, it's a big man smacking him in the throat, so who knows, but flagrant one. Referee blunders, there was a lot. Let's have a look. Towns. Trying to attack Nurk. Player in the other. Both players 6'5. Levine. And last touched by the Nuggets. Wow. It looked like Zach slung that out of bounds. I couldn't see if it touched anybody on the problematic thing you can possibly imagine. And, that's and once again, Denver Nuggets end with a nice nail biter. We're up by 8 points with about 6 minutes 42 to go. Um, we've got the steal, we got a nice little pass there by Jamal Murray and the dunk there, we're up by 10 points. Wow, we should be winning, oh wait, 42 seconds left and we're down by three. We're, we're here again, guys. Um, and luckily, Minnesota are just missing all these shots. Now, um, I don't know about you guys, but I was having a heart attack at this point. I didn't want to go into overtime again and luckily we didn't. Now, this was our best shot. There's no seconds left, we, we couldn't even get a shot off. Bit disappointed by that. Thankfully, Bajenko misses that shot. He was hitting all day, and that was it. The shit sandwich. Ah, yes, that thing. Let's talk about the shit sandwich. We're going to talk about the good thing, a bad thing, and one other good thing that happened in the game. Uh, the first good thing we're going to talk about is how good our bench was. Our bench was really good. If it wasn't for our bench, I honestly believe that we probably would have lost this game. Uh, we had 45 points compared to the Minnesota, 23 points on the bench. It was really interesting to see. I mean, Minnesota have all the talent in the world. Uh, we're quite competitive with them because we're also the young, up-and-coming team. However, we could see that definitely in this game, our bench was much stronger. Uh, when the Minnesota bench came on, it was a weakness for them. But our bench is like sort of our continual motor. Danilo Gallinari, aka Mr. Dependable, aka Fireman. This guy was on fire. He was hitting today for us. It was really good to have a dependable Gallinari today. Um, look at this play, by the way. This is the best play, I think, of the whole game. Just the passing. If we can keep doing that, we're going to just keep winning. Um, so Gallinari was shooting well, very well today. He shot six from nine. Uh, he had four from seven from the arc. Really dependable, really great. It was really good to have him shooting that well. Uh, the second bad thing, we need a go-to scorer. This was very evident in the last dying embers of the last quarter. Okay, so as you can see here, it's continual. That's a bad turnover. We shot 6 from 20, 30% in the last quarter, and we shot 1 from 8 from 3-pointer, so 12.5%. Our main scorers in the quarter were Wilson Chandler with 8 points and Nelson with 5 points. Uh, apart from Moutier with three points, no one else scored in the last quarter. Um, we need we need someone to pick it up. Now look at that shot. That was terrible shot. That that Moutier shot was terrible. So look, it's just these continual continual shots which are very contested. Um, not very smart shots. I mean, look, that one was a good shot. That was a good shot. 
Emmanuel Moudier, still missing layups. Um, he shot four from 18 today, so a real low percentage. Uh, it was real shame to see this. I believe he... I believe he's being too predictable with his layups. Um, he's running in from far out. The defender knows what he's going to do. And he's just either getting blocked or too contested. Rubbish play of the game. I'm um, really sorry, Jamal Murray, but you won this one. Jamal Murray still hasn't hit a field goal this season. Uh, he started today for us, which was um, it was interesting. Um, you know, he's a really good shooter and uh, he's just not hitting any shots. It's a real shame. He's a rookie. He'll get back into it, hopefully. Um, he's just got to get some of that rookie rookie rust off. Another good thing we can talk about is the amazing third quarter defense that was on display. We smashed them in the third quarter. We had a 19-point advantage over them. We had 14 to 6 rebounds on them. And we held them to 25% shooting. They only had five field goals in this whole quarter. And they went zero for seven from threes. Um, this is just a little bit of a perspective on what was going on. Is it the third? Is the third quarter like our best quarter or something? Has anyone noticed that our third quarter seemed to be very good? Our defense was really good, and and to be honest, it's been quite good this season. To be honest, this third quarter was a great example of it. Jameer Nelson was solid. Jameer Nelson was a great backup point guard today. If anything, he was probably the best point guard on today. Um, it's really nice. Like I completely underrated Jimmy Nelson. I thought he'd be a washout. He shot five from ten from the field today. He had seven assists, seven rebounds, fourteen points. He killed it. He had five turnovers. Other other than that, he was really consistent. He was leading the team well, and he was, he was shooting well as well. So it was really nice to have that off the bench. Let's hope he can continue this form. And carry on. Joseph Nurkic, once again, you will receive the MVP award. Joseph Nurkic was out to kill someone today. I think that's what he thought before he went to play the game today. He that's what he had in his mind. He was he was crazy. He was he was defensively very disruptive when he was on the floor. Look at that little. I don't know if it's a block or a shove, but he gets a little steal here. Here's him on Colin Anthony Towns, just, just making him fumble the ball, gets the ball, steals it there. And he was killing it inside. He was tossing, tossing large men around. Look at him bus this dude. Bus. And that dude, I'm pretty sure that dude's like a seven foot giant as well. Um, I forgot his name. I think it's Mitch Gary. But, oh my God. So he was just all over the place. He had a really good game he, sh he shot 53 percent 18 points five rebounds one assist two steals two blocks and he had a plus minus of 13 and that's the end of this one everyone game four is over it was scrappy it was not very pretty but we won the game so we can now say that we're two for two Woo!